Sounds of Fire with Reverend John Azia. Matthew chapter 3. Verse 16. It said, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw. Somebody say he saw. Somebody say he saw. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. I will speak briefly on visions for open heaven. Visions for open heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said when Jesus was being baptized, as he came out of the water, his eyes were open and he saw something. What you see in life is what you will see in destiny. Your mental picture determines your actual future. Your imagination set the pace for your destination. If you must get something, you must see something. In Habakkuk chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3, it said in verse 1, I will stand upon my watch to see what my Lord will say unto me. And in verse 2, it said, write the vision, make it plain. That they may run that read it. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a time to write the vision. There is a time to read the vision. There is a time to talk with the vision. There is a time to walk with the vision. And there is a time to run with the vision. I prophesy to seven of you in this minister's conference. After this conference, you will begin to run with your vision. I didn't hear loud, amen. I said you will begin to run with your vision. I saw you begin to run with your vision. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. It's the same yesterday. It's the same today. It's the same forever. When God say yes, nobody can say no. When God lifts you up, nobody can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Anointing is on your side. Lift your voice and say fire. fire. Lift your voice and say fire. fire. Lift your voice and say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, Yet do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me. The rod and the staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou will not test my head with oil, and my cup runs over. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever, and ever, somebody said fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire! Sit down. The greatest nation in the world is not America. The greatest nation in the world is not Great Britain. The greatest nation in the world is not Canada. The greatest nation in the world is not South Africa. The greatest nation in the world is the nation of the mind. That is why they call it imagination. Are you what I'm talking about? It is inspiration that cancels desperation. Can I ask you a question? Do you have a vision for your life? Do you have a vision for your ministry? Can I tell you something? What you have now is a product of the vision that you developed years ago. Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7. As he take it in his heart, so is he. Thinking is living. Living is thinking. You know, you know, some time ago, I saw into a picture, a picture that I was privileged to take with our father and the Lord over some 20 years ago. And I began to remember 
some of the things that he used to tell us then. How they have come into manifestation. Can I tell you? Maybe this will help you. Before Celebration TV came, there were no camera phone then. The snapping camera, we couldn't even afford. The video camera, that was out of it. Papa will stand before me and Reverend Kingsley and say, this is Apostle John C. Suleiman. I am ministering life now on camera. There is someone watching me from Ghana. You are being healed of HIV. There is someone watching me from America. There is a lump disappearing from your breast. Myself and Reverend Kingsley, we will laugh and laugh and laugh. We fall on the ground. We said, this man don't the colo. We didn't know that this man was calling for those things that be not as though they were. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. For faith is the substance of things over. The evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good report. In verse 6. It's that without faith it is impossible to please God. For him that comes to God must believe that he is. And that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Ladies and gentlemen, your belief is your relief. You want to pastor a big church, a big congregation, begin to see it in your heart. Are you what I'm talking about? In those who were wondering, what was he talking about? One day he told me, he said, John, I saw something in the revelation. A great man of God that was all over the world was the reigning evangelist as of then in America or something. He said, I saw him. There was a big crusade and the man was to preach. And the crowd gathered, but the man was nowhere to be found. Then I walked to the rooftop of a building and I went to see the man. The man bowed down his head. I said, sir, the crowd is gathered. They are waiting for you. The man said, I have handed over to you. Go ahead. Minister to them. And guess what? When he's saying some of these things, we laugh. Because he doesn't look it. 